Nuclear warheads are the most destructive weapons on Earth, and Russia has over 6,000 of them, more than any other country, including the US. This much power at the hands of a non-ally, now coupled with concerns that Russia may go nuclear in its invasion of Ukraine if the war doesn't go its way, is all too much for the US to bear. Proactively, the US military has for years been devising ways to mitigate the might of Russia's nuclear arsenal. From the fastest aircraft in history to the world's first fifth-generation fighter, and now, the deadliest nuclear bomber the world has ever seen, the brand new B-21 Raider, a highly advanced sibling to the highly advanced B-2 Spirit. This new bomber would project the might of the US Air Force in the brightest colors, like the B-2 currently does, and send stern warnings to non-allies like the B-2 currently does in Australia. Australia is a vital ally, partner, and friend for the US. So when China's military began to move weirdly toward this friend in the Indo-Pacific region, the US wasted no time in ramping up its effort to improve tactical operations in Australia by sending four B-2 Spirit stealth bombers, where they currently stay lined up at the Royal Australian Air Force Amberley Air Base in Queensland thus serving as a constant reminder to China that although the B-2 was developed during the Cold War to take out Russian forces, it has no problem adding Chinese destruction to its to-do list, a threat it is very capable of executing. These four B-2 bombers account for 20% of the US Air Force's entire B-2 fleet and represent a critical component of America's long-range strike force. The $2 billion B-2 is the most expensive aircraft in history and consequently all-powerful. It has remained the most stealthy aircraft in operation since its introduction 25 years ago. With a range of over 11,500 miles and one refueling, the B-2 can fly to any point in the world within hours to deploy up to 16 nuclear bombs while remaining completely stealthy. It is the only aircraft capable of such a feat. However, despite the B-2 being at the top of the bomber food chain, it's about to have a sequel that would make it second best in everything. Meet the B-21 Raider. With an expected first flight in 2023, the B-21 Raider is preparing to be unveiled as an advanced, very long-range, large, heavy payload stealth intercontinental strategic bomber for the US. Like the B-2, the B-21 is developed by Northrop Grumman, and like the B-2, it will also be able to deliver conventional and nuclear weapons to targets around the world. The B-21, as a fifth-generation global precision attack platform, will give the US networked sensor shoot capability, thus holding targets at risk with something to worry about for the 21st century. And this is what the 21 in the B-21 depicts, the bomber for the 21st century. It would, however, work with older existing bombers, including the Rockwell B-1 Lancer, Boeing B-52 Strato Fortress, and the B-2 Spirit, before eventually replacing them. The B-21 is expected to be introduced into service by 2027, marking the success of over 13 years spent developing the aircraft. This development officially began in 2014, when a request for proposal to develop the aircraft was issued. And surely enough, Northrop Grumman's proposal was accepted. They already had decades of experience developing the world's most advanced bomber thanks to the B-2. So what's another? Working alongside Northrop Grumman is an all-star team of seven of the world's largest manufacturers as Tier 1 suppliers for the program. This team of suppliers includes American aerospace manufacturer Pratt & Whitney, the largest defense contractor in Europe, BAE Systems, the world's largest first-tier aerostructures manufacturer, Spirit Aerosystems, Northrop Grumman's Orbital ATK, Rockwell Collins, GKN Aerospace, and Yanitsky Industries. Together, these eight companies, with Northrop Grumman at the head, would create a bomber that could double as an intelligence gatherer, triple as a battle manager, or quadruple as an interceptor aircraft. This would be made possible by the aircraft's combination of intelligent sensors to perceive threats from the other side of the planet, top-level stealth features that make it invisible to radar, heavy armament enough to level entire countries, and an open architecture that allows it to quickly take on new upgrades to keep up with the times and technology. And according to Air Force Secretary Frank Kendall III, the bomber could have a bomber drone flying alongside to execute mini-missions. This capability is one that seems exclusive to only next-generation fighters, such as the NGAD, FCAS, and Tempest, 
The B-21 so far is the only American bomber with such capability. For these and more, the U.S. Air Force wants as many of the B-21s as they can have. So they plan to acquire a minimum of 100 B-21s and envision up to 200 eventually. That's almost 10 times more than their B-2 fleet. However, at the same price tag as the B-2, 200 B-21s would amount to a whopping $400 billion, which is a boatload, to say the least. So to have such a huge B-21 fleet, some impressive cost efficiency would have to come into play. For now, how much these aircraft would cost is anyone's guess. Apparently, cost estimates, like virtually every other specific of the B-21 Raider, won't be shared with the public because according to the Air Force, the costs would reveal too much information about the classified project to potential adversaries. And that is the exact opposite of what they want when these potential adversaries in question are developing direct B-21 competitors of their own. Russian Pakta The Pakta will be a long-range, low-observable strategic bomber for the Russian Air Force with a wide array of actual combat capabilities. It'll be a subsonic aircraft with a heavy payload of cruise missiles, hypersonic missiles, precision conventional and nuclear bombs, all contained in a flying wing design like that of the B-21. And like the American bomber, the Pakta is kit up with the most advanced local electronic warfare and stealth technologies, allowing it to limit its radar return and mask the heat produced by its engines. However, if decades of history are anything to go by, Russia hardly prioritizes stealth over artillery, and so the Pakta will likely be significantly less stealthy than the B-21 just as the Su-57 is significantly less stealthy than the F-22 and F-35. In fact, the Su-57 is considered the least stealthy of all fifth-generation fighters. Russia would, as usual, make up for this in armament capacity, resulting in the Pakta having a payload of up to 80,000 pounds, which is likely more armament than the B-21, just as the Su-57 has more than both the F-22 and F-35. The Pakta, like the B-21, is expected to be deployed into service in the late 2020s, and so it's about to be an interesting face-off in the bomber space between the US, Russia, and, well, China too. Chinese Shan H-20 China enters the list of fifth-generation bombers with the Shan H-20. Although there haven't been too many official reports regarding the bomber, we know enough to be sure that it does exist and is one to look out for especially since it shares a similar flying wing profile to the B-21 and the Pakta. Computer-generated images from verified sources have also shown its weapons bay, airborne radar, adjustable tail wings, and stealth air intakes, all covered in radar-absorbent material. So all signs point toward a super-advanced stealth-focused bomber in development. The H-20 will be China's first self-developed dedicated stealth bomber, it is expected to fly at subsonic speeds, armed with conventional, hypersonic, or nuclear missiles. Regarding when it will enter service, the H-20 seems the farthest from deployment of the bunch, but that only gives it room to make a grand entrance if it's as powerful as the signs say. Because the signs say it is powerful enough to take on the Russian Pakta and the American B-21. The B-21 does have decades of head start though, thanks to the B-2. It has been around the world, bordered on space, and revolutionized what a bomber is supposed to be. Engines, avionics, armament, and cost are all also under control and have been structured well enough to make a bomber that's more advanced than anything the world's seen so far. The B-21 Raider would be a source of worry for enemies of the US and absolute joy to allies. But that's only if you subscribe to this channel and give this video a thumbs up. So kindly do so now for the sake of Australia and other US allies. That would be all for this video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.